everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to film a plan with me in my 2017-2018 Vertical Neutral Erin Condren for the week of August 28th. And I'm going to be using this gorgeous kit from Sticker Bloom. It is the weekend kit. I've had this for a long time. I hauled it a while ago. Um, and I'm just really looking forward to using it. It's a long weekend. This weekend we've got a four day weekend. No a three-day weekend, sorry. And so I figured we would be using this. So um, there's our full boxes, and this is just what the kit looks like. It is in glossy. And uh, there's the bottom washi. And then we've got glitter headers as well as deco. I love all the deco. So yes, let's jump into this. Um, and we're gonna start by putting down our uh, full boxes and our checklists. And um, as usual, let me take this off. Um, as usual, today is Wednesday of the previous week. So we're here and uh, it's been a really good good week this week. Yesterday I had lunch with my um, really dear friend Amy. Her and I have been friends for over 10 years. She was my first mom friend. We went to Hobby Lobby and then um, I went to dance last night with my daughter and got to watch her and then the day before on Monday we were supposed to go to the aquarium. We actually didn't get to go. We're going to go probably tomorrow because um, we all got sick on the weekend, uh, which was a bummer. So instead, we hung out at the house, we watched the eclipse, um, and we watched a bunch of movies. I got, I sanitized the house, and um, yeah, it was just, it was a, it was a weekend. Let me just, let me just say that. We, um, we all got this 24 hour stomach bug, which came actually from the spa, I believe, because one of my coworkers, he had um, a stomach flu. And I'm 99.9% .9 sure that my husband brought it home because him and the baby uh, were the first to get sick. This is my favorite half box. I'm sorry, my favorite full box. Um, but him and the baby were the first ones to get sick. And so I feel like they are the culprits. I could be wrong. Um, obviously, there's no way to prove that. Uh, but anyway, we're all on the mend now, thank goodness, because we were not feeling well, let me tell you. Um, it, was, it was a bummer. <laughs> it was... Definitely, definitely a bummer. So, um, anyway, we're all doing better now, and the house is quiet because everybody is at school. So, yay, mommy. I just realized that we have more full boxes than we need, which is great. We're just gonna, I'm gonna need to um, pay attention to that so that I. Uh, Make sure I use them wisely. Uh, let's put this here. So, like I said, today is now Wednesday. I have been running errands like crazy this morning. So I ran out of lamination sheets, and which doesn't normally, that doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but um, it is when it's back to school time because they're incredibly hard to find. So I had to go to four stores today to find lamination sheets. I found them. <laughs> it just, it took me forever. I tried to find them yesterday um, while I was out with Amy, but uh, I was unable to find them. So it's okay. I figured it out. Uh, but man, that was, that was a pain in the neck because they're they're normally not that hard to find, um, but they were. But they're found, and it's all done. So enough of that. But uh, yeah, now I'm just today. I'm working on orders all day and editing videos and um, just 
enjoying the silence of the house. I have been watching some YouTube here and there, but other than that, I've just been um, having no sound, which probably sounds ridiculous, but I never have no sound in the house. And so it was kind of nice to just have silence, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Uh, yesterday when the kids got off the bus and got home from school, um, my three oldest, the two littles were still at preschool. My husband was picking them up and he was running a couple errands. We, he had to go get dog food and stuff. So he was running a couple errands before he came home and I was like, let's get all our homework done and spend some reading time before, you know, the littles get home. Cause once they get home, like... There's no quiet time in the house once once the littles are home, so until they go to bed. So uh, we did. We focused and we got homework done, and then Ronan and I, my five-year-old, we laid up in his bed. He's in the top bunk in the bedroom, but we laid up in his bed and read some books. His room, their room is my favorite room in the whole house. Um, I love their bedroom so very much. I love their bedroom. So we laid up there and we read some books and uh, had some mommy time and that was very enjoyable. This week I think I'm going to use glitter headers and uh, I think I'm going to color block. And so I'm just going to pop these down. I had somebody leave a comment um, mentioning that it annoyed them that I didn't drop my to-do list down like make the header fit and then drop the to-do list but I don't I don't like to do that I have date covers so it doesn't matter if this comes up um, and I kind of like this is a really full box and this is a really full box and this section here in the middle is you know got a little bit more space I like having the little bit more of white space right there I don't know just works for me <laughs> But, uh, so if you've ever been curious, because I, I have watched other planners um, who use this new vertical neutral, and that's, you know, sometimes what they'll do is they'll put the header down first and then put the full box underneath it or whatever, which is fine. That's totally, you know, one way that you can do it, and it absolutely works. And um, if that's, you know, what works for you, great. This is just what works for me, and I like it. And I think that uh, doing it that way, like making the header line up and then moving the box down would work if I didn't, that'd be great for a week if I, that I didn't have date covers. Like if I, um, but, oh, there goes the, I don't even know if you guys can hear that fragrance thing. It cracks me up every time when I'm by myself, but. Anyway, you guys would have seen in my video from last week that I passed my test. So yay! Never again do I ever have to think about that test. Like, this is the last time I'm ever going to talk about it because that test gave me so much anxiety. When I, um, so when you get to the end of the test, you, first, let me back up. To get into the test, you have to like be padded down. You have to empty out all your pockets. You can't wear any jewelry. They check your, I wore my glasses. So they check your glasses. Like they really make sure that there is no way that you can cheat on this exam, which listen, I appreciate. Like I get it. This is, this is a competency exam. You know what I mean? It's an aptitude exam. They want to make sure that you know what you're talking about. You're about to go counsel little people. Like, they want to make sure that you know what you're doing. So I can appreciate that. So once you're in there, like, if you get up from your desk or whatever, um, then you have to go through that whole process again. So that was nerve-wracking. You have two hours to complete 120 questions. And uh, it, it just, you know, it was fine. So I got to the end. And I am not a believer in checking my answers because that's when you go, that's when you start to second guess yourself. So I am not a believer in like going back and checking my answers. Now I'm not saying, oh, the sun just went behind the clouds. I'm not saying that if you're a test taker that you shouldn't check your answers by any means. If checking your answers is right for you, then do that. 
So per usual, I was gabbing away and forgot that I was on a time constraint here. So I did my um, date covers and as I was, I'm gonna do my sidebar. You guys, I always do my sidebar the same. I'll do, um, this one I had to do a full box because I didn't have deco, but I'll do deco and then um, habit trackers and then a weekly box and then another full box. So that's what I'm gonna do on the sidebar over here, but I'm gonna finish telling you my story. So I don't typically check my answers because um, I just, for me and my personality, like I will start to check my answers and I will second guess myself. So I figure, you know, it's probably best if I don't go back and check my answers. And um, especially after I've read the rest of the test and like I start to wonder, okay, well maybe that's a better answer. Maybe that's, I don't know. So needless to say, um, you get to the end and it gives you the option of either you can record your um, score or you can cancel it. So you can either say yes, record my score. I, However I did, I'm going to take it or you can say nope, don't record the score uh, and move along. And I didn't know what to do. And I was shaking desperately and I was like, I don't know if I should just, I felt like I did really terribly because it was, you know, pick the right answer, not or pick the best answer, not the right answer. And uh, I finally just hit the okay, you know, record the score. And uh, I'm really thankful that I did because the, like, it doesn't tell you right away if you pass or fail. It just gives you your score. And I needed to get a 156. And I got a 176. Which later, after doing some research, I found out that that was actually a really good score. And so <laughs> uh, I did well. And, you know, I, I was so relieved that it was done and over. And that I'll never have to you know, have that anxiety again um, until I go back to school, I'm sure. I, I always, I'm so close to, um, I keep battling with the idea of going back to school because I am psychotic, but uh, I'm really, really, really considering going back for my PhD in um, child psychology because uh, I, I don't know, just part of me, this small part of me wants to be a school psychologist, not just a school counselor. So I can't like, as a school counselor, I cannot diagnose students. Um, I can't diagnose kiddos. I can just, um, go, you know, I can recommend that children be, evaluated but I cannot uh, I cannot diagnose them myself sorry I was looking for the washi which is you know I mean it's not the end of the world but at the same time like if you're seeing a child and your studies tell you you know that you know what's going on with this kiddo but there's nothing you can do about it like you know that's frustrating um and you can just only pray that whoever they go to see uh will understand you know what's going on with them and their bodies so i don't know i go back and forth with the idea of going back to school for my phd it would be a lot of work and it wouldn't be something that i would do until oh reminder until my children were older um like a lot older but I don't know. I don't know if, you know, putting myself in further school debt is worth it. But I'd have to look. I don't even know if I would be making a ton more, like, as a school psychologist versus a counselor. I mean, I know, I, I don't know if they're paid on the same scale. Um, I just have not done the research. Once I'm in the school district and I'm working with the school psychologist, I can talk to them more about it. I'm using my morning and evening routine stickers from Rose Colored Days. These were a um, these were a custom. So, but anyways, once I get closer to that, you know, let me get into the school and you know feel out the 
the, the career and then decide from there. I mean, obviously I don't have to make any decisions now. I have plenty of time <laughs> for that. So, all right. I'm just doing my sidebar. Um, I've got a to, to go important to clean and then that reminder. And I'm just checking to see if maybe I have some sidebar headers that I'm missing, but I don't. So I think I'm going to do, uh, I think I might use this one that says extras. This is for my, um, yeah, this is for my daily grateful thought put this here and then we have this area down here so we have this leftover box that says lazy weekend which I now don't have space for which I didn't really think that through but I do have a ton of deco so I could put this here and then I could do either I think I'll use, um, maybe I'll, oh, I don't know the sounds that are coming out of my little puppy right now. She's a little Charlie girl. She's over there making some pretty funny noises. Um, that works. I know we've got this little like face cream maybe. That's cute. Okay, that will work for the sidebar. And now let's just go ahead into our day by day now that I'm doing plenty of rambling. Um, let me find, I wrote out my weekly here and let's start with Monday. Monday is my friend Kevin's birthday. So that is always something I want to keep track of. My friend's birthdays. I think I'm going to use this little scalloped box. And I've got my uh, Stadler Tri Plus Fine Liner. And I'm just going to write Kevin on it. And I pulled out my little what are these uh, balloons from Mon Petit Planner? You guys know I love these stickers. And I'm just going to put this up here. And I'm going to use a pink one for his birthday. Kevin and I have worked together since the beginning of my massage career. He just worked with my husband even longer. Uh, and then. What else do we have this day? This day, I am going to go to the Bellagio Conservatory with my in-laws and the kiddos. So that should be fun. I think I'm going to use this Chevron glitter uh, half box. And let's see what we have for trash day. Got date night. Mm. I pulled out these as well. Oh, there's a little car, but that pink doesn't really match. Um, I thought I had another one of those. Those are from Planning World. I do have another one. We've got the blue car we could use. We could use the yellow heart. There's not, that yellow doesn't really match. Let's use the blue car and I'm just going to write in here Bellagio Conservatory with mom and dad. So um, I invited my in-laws to go with me to take the boys down there. So the conservatory at the Bellagio, if you've never been, Bellagio is a hotel down on the strip in Las Vegas. And the conservatory is like a big atrium and it's got um, like all these flowers and you know plants and 
It's so beautiful and they always have it decked out for something different for the season and it's just gorgeous and I love it. So yeah, that is what I'm going to do that day. For Tuesday, I'm going to try something different this week and not do Monday as a cleaning day, but do Tuesday as a cleaning day because everybody will be gone out of the house this day and uh, I just feel like that's going to be better for me. So I'm going to do Tuesday as a cleanup day. So let's use, I've got this sticker here that says cleanup and I'm just wondering like, do I want to just put it in my to-do list? I think I do. I'm just going to put it here. And then I pulled out my preschool stickers from Nikki plus three and I'm going to pop these in for uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. I love these stickers so much. Let's pop them up down here. They're so adorable. And whoop, put that there for Tuesday and Wednesday. And then the only other thing Tuesday that I want to do that I want to mark down um, is I want to go to the consignment store and consign some clothes. When we were doing, um, we were cleaning up before back to school, I cleaned out my kiddos' closets and my daughter, all the boys' clothes I keep, unless they're the, they're the babies and he's grown out of stuff because we're not having any more. So if they're that, then that's different. But my little, I'm sorry, my daughter, I always consign her clothes. Um, I was trying to see if there was like a sticker that I wanted to use for this, like a little box or something. Um, but I always consign her clothes because... I'm not going to hold on to them. Nobody else can wear them. So, you know, it doesn't make sense to hold on to them. I'm going to use a blue, this little blue box here, and I'm going to put it on a pink little, and I'm just going to write a uh, kid to kid and kid assignment. Those are two consignment stores in my area that I like to consign at and put that there. And then I'm just gonna leave the rest of it open because I don't know what else we're gonna do that day. And then whatever I don't consign, I'll just drop off um, at Safe Nest, which is a women and children shelter in Las Vegas. So I just give everything else to them. And then the rest of the day will be spent cleaning. And then Wednesday, I consider that cleaning because it's getting it out of my house. <laughs> Um, and that's considered cleaning in my book. On Wednesday, we have a lot going on. So we've got a pack meeting for the Boy Scouts. So let's use, let's use a um, blue little, I think. And I'm gonna do this turquoise, that's like mint green actually, uh, asterisk. And I'll just, this is a pack meeting, so I'll just write pack meeting at 6.30. And I'm going to put that down here because that is like the last thing we've got going on that day. And I don't necessarily have to be there for that. Um, but I, I need to ask my son if he wants me there. Probably not because they're not doing any awards or anything. It's like the first pack meeting of the season. So it's not going to be any awards or anything. And then um, it's also a trial run, a trial day at my daughter's studio, which is actually really cool. So basically what that means is they get to try out classes. I'm going to use this peach uh, like double dot box. I don't know what else to call it. And a blue heart I think yeah let's use a blue heart and she gets to if they do like 15 minute mini classes of different styles so she wants to try lyrical and hip-hop um, so we're gonna try it out and see how she does so trial classes 
which is very cool. And it runs for an hour. And they just get to try the different kind of classes and see what they like, if they like anything. And I think that's really cool. I just think that's a really fun, you know, idea. The only other thing this day is that uh, this is just going to be a really heavy work day for me. Uh, so let me find, I pulled some stickers for that. I had a really cute sticker from Paper Blush Bar and it just says work day. And I'm going to pop this up here at the top of my to-do list because that is what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything on here. Laundry. Let's see. Bill due. Happy mail. Work day. Okay. So we'll see if I'll use any of that for any of the other days as well. For Thursday, um, story time comes back. Yay! So for the month of August, there was no story time at the uh, library, which was kind of a bummer. I mean, I understood, like, don't get me wrong, but I was, you know, it's a bummer. I'm going to use this. It's supposed to be a planner, but I'm just going to pretend it's a book. And I'm going to use the half box because we are so excited. And oh, I should use this one here with the books. Let's pop that on there. And... Do we have a little clock? Let me see. Where did that other one of these go? Let's see if we've got a little... Colby's snoring, guys. He's snoring away. You already know. Let's use the little clock. And this is for story time. So we do the preschool story time. And uh, now... It used to be me and Ronan, and we would go on Wednesdays, and we'd have the baby, but um, it would be like mine and Ronan's thing, but now it gets to be me and Griffey and Ryan, so it'll start, because both of them will be able to enjoy it for the preschool story time, so that'll be on Thursday. I'm so excited. That's all I have so far for Thursday. Um, it'll probably be a big laundry day, so let's use this laundry day sticker because that's adorable, um, because I don't really have anything else going on this day. Um, that's pretty much it. So Friday is payday, so that's exciting. We've got some payday stickers here. Let's just pop one of these down. I think I'll use this one here, and I'm just going to put it kind of over the glitter header and I work this day boo I mean I shouldn't say boo I should be thankful that I have a job I'm gonna use this half box yeah mm, this half box we'll use this half box and I have a work script from Nikki plus three these are so pretty. I love her scripts. I've actually been in, uh, been working with her to create a dance sticker for my daughter. Um, and if you notice, there's no dance on here, but that is not because she doesn't have dance this week. She technically wasn't supposed to, but her, I spoke to her dance teacher yesterday and she's going to add some extra dance rehearsals in this week for just their marzipan dance because it's so hard but I just don't know when those are yet she hadn't figured all that out yet so we'll see um this is the day that the trash needs to go out so let's add a little trash can um but we've got this really cute sticker that says trash day I mean trash goes out I mean it's picked up on Saturday but we put it all out on Friday and we need to meal plan and order our groceries this day. So I pulled out my Crafts by Towie stickers. And let's use this like lighter pinky peach. And I'm just going to write up here, meal plan and order food. My hand sounds hilarious um, going across those stickers. <laughs> Uh, and depending on what the 
pickup times are. We can either pick up Friday or Saturday. I don't know until we put in the order. So we will see. And then for, oh, there was a really cute sticker that says, it's Friday. I mean, I don't know. I guess I could put it like, ooh, like over here. No, I don't, I, I don't want, it's adorable, but I got a lot of script on that day. Uh, for Saturday, we have Girl Scouts in the morning, and I'm pretty sure that's all we have going on so far for this day. I thought I said I wasn't going to use this one. I was going to use this one, but that's okay. I'm going to use this one for Girl Scouts, uh, and I'm going to use this sticker here that says Let's Coffee, because I think I've said before, I always get coffee before Girl Scouts, so... This is a Girl Scout meeting. So let me write in Girl Scouts from 9 to 11. And so far, that is all we have going on this day. So I'm going to leave the rest blank and we'll fill it in. For whatever we have going on, um, it'll probably be a lazy day for us, I'm not going to lie. I, I have a feeling we'll probably just be hanging out, but I'm not sure, so I'm going to leave it alone. And then Sunday is church in the morning, so I think I'm going to use one of these little labels, this blue label. And there was a coffee, yes. There was a coffee on here, and I'll put it on after because it's big. Let me write on here, church. Oh my gosh, my hand sounds hilarious when <laughs> it goes across the, uh, I really like her glossy stickers, by the way. They're a really good quality. Okay, let me put those up there. And then the rest of the day is just going to be spent like prepping for the new week. So I'm going to put, I think, I think I'm going to put this little um, label up here in the checklist. And I'm just going to put in it weekly prep. Because we do the same thing every Sunday. We pre-pack some lunches, we pick out all our clothes, we take showers, we make sure our backpacks are ready, we make sure we all have, you know, we've got plenty of socks for the week. Like we, we just, we do it all. We just get us all ready. There we go. So the only other thing I want to do now is add the bottom washi and a weekend banner. I'm going to pull in one of these gold foiled weekend banners from Rose Colored Days. Let me very carefully, these are on clear sticker paper and they're just this beautiful foiled sticker and I'm going to place it across these bottom two um, full boxes. It looks so pretty. That sticker doesn't want to stay down. And then now let's figure out the bottom washi. So we've got it, it's this washi here and it's pretty dark and I don't... I don't know, I'm really liking how light everything looks. I feel like adding in this dark bottom washi might, oh, I'm just gonna add it. It's pretty and it goes, and I don't feel like dealing with going to hunt through my uh, washi collection to try to find something that matches because these colors are pretty specific. Um, what I did, though, was kind of move it. I do like that her washi is smaller, but I did move it more towards the bottom and less, and like left a little bit more white space along the top there so that it just gave a little bit more like breathing room. But that just looks really, really pretty, and I really like it. <laughs> um, I wanted to look at the deco and... We did have a weekend banner, by the way. I just uh, wanted something a little bit more dainty, I think. 
Uh, but I wanted to see if there was anything else that I wanted to pop in here, um, like with the deco, because this deco can also be used as like functional, you know, like this sticker here with the books. That would have been cute for story time. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it for right now. I actually have a ton left in this kit. So I've got a bunch of deco. I've got two full boxes and labels, all these little things and headers, numbers and washi. I've got one more checklist and some more labels. Labels, bill dues, a bunch of flags, a bunch of half boxes, and then a, um, I've got checklists here. So I've got a ton of stuff which is great because I showed you guys what I do with these and I use them in my other planner, so lots to be used there. But this looks adorable, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this sweet little girl paper clip from uh, the Planner Society. I just felt like she matched this kit really well. And that is it. If you guys liked this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. And until the next video, hope you guys are having a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.